Hi everyone, today's Halloween, so we've got to go to a really haunted pub. Where are we? We're here in Colnebrook. We're going to the Ostrich Inn, which was established in 1106. Now, why is it so haunted? Well, the landlord and landlady, they're a little bit naughty in the 16th century. They murdered over 60 people, 60 different people, wow. What well, they've done, they had guests staying in their rooms, the bed used to tip over, in through a trap door, into a great big vat and killed them instantly and then they robbed them. Now, Colnebrook was apparently named after, yeah, some aeroplanes flying over as well, Colnebrook was named after a chap called Col, who was, they tried to murder here, or they did murder here. Uh, they found his horse, he, they dumped his body in a brook, hence the name Col Brook. Now, I'm absolutely starving, I want a monstrous breakfast today. As always, let's give it a go. The other thing I forgot, the famous Dick Turpin, apparently he stayed here as well. Now I've got to say, I think Dick might have had a bit of a drink problem because uh, he seems to have stayed in an awful lot of pubs. Right, let's give it a go. Okay, so we've come inside. Beautiful pub in here, really nicely laid out. Got the restaurant area out the back. Beautiful open fire behind us, which dates back to, I think it was 1117. I might be wrong on that, but I think it's about 1117. Really nice. The staff are very friendly. I was talking to the cleaner, funny enough, and she was telling me all about the haunted rooms and how some guy called Charlie was thrown down the stairs and poltergeists and everything here. Quite scary, to be really honest. Onto the menu. So obviously it's a breakfast menu. I've got the full English breakfast here, the mega ostrich breakfast, veggie, um, veggie English, pancakes, eggs benedict, eggs royale, fruit, yogurt, the whole range. Now I'm really, really hungry. So I'm gonna go for their mega ostrich breakfast, which is basically double everything um, on the normal breakfast, which is sausage, bacon, black pudding, mushrooms, tomato, beans, hash browns, um, po uh, choice of eggs. Now I've gone for the poached eggs because I really like poached eggs. I like to see how good the chef is and how well they're cooked. Also comes with uh, orange juice, uh, tea and coffee um, and toast. Now I've had a big breakfast so I want to be healthy so I've gone for brown toast. Can't wait for this one. Hopefully it's spectacular. See you guys shortly. Okay so I've ordered the, the mega breakfast. Um, Interesting enough, as you know, I don't like mushrooms, so I've asked them for no mushrooms. And they've just told me there's no black pudding either. So one of the things I'll be interested to see is, are they going to actually give a little bit more in one of the sausages, bacon or egg or eggs? So that'd be quite interesting. I'll see you when the breakfast arrives. Okay, so my breakfast has arrived. Yeah, take a look at it. Four poached eggs, a mountain of streaky bacon, 
a couple of sausages, a couple of tomatoes, a couple of hash browns, and that is one big pot of baked beans and loads of brown toast. One of the things I really, really like about this uh, breakfast is everything's included. So the tea's included, orange juice is included, obviously the breakfast, the toast, so there's no add-ons if you like. So 20 pound for the mega breakfast. You also got to bear in mind, normally it would have black pudding on there and it would have um, mushrooms as well, but obviously I don't like the mushrooms. I think that's why I've got a mountain of, uh, of bacon and some extra poached eggs. Right, let's dig in and see what it tastes like. Okay, I forgot to mention, I've got my brown sauce. Not used to it in a little ramek in there, but I'll dive in in a minute. Let's see what the poached eggs are cooked like. Let's take that one first. Yeah, they're cooked perfectly, absolutely perfectly. Really nice colour to that yolk. Even better if I could get it on the fork. Yeah, that's a nice egg. Now a bit of bacon. There is a lot of bacon here. Now, it's streaky bacon. And I've got to be honest, I do prefer, there's a personal preference, but I prefer back bacon, to be honest. Mm. That's really good. Nice and smoky. And cooked really, really well. I'll say a couple of bits, bits there, a bit of charring on it. That piece I tried was very, very nice. Now, the sausage. To show you, there's the other sausage which I haven't cut yet. It's pork sausage. Nice pork content in there. Nicely cooked. The skin there was very, very crispy. Now the hash browns. Okay. They're actually not that well cooked on the outside. They need a couple of more minutes in the fryer. The tomatoes are fresh tomatoes. You see that? That's they're nice and soft and juicy. And again, as a preference, I prefer fresh tomatoes to tin tomatoes. But again, it's personal preference. Yeah, nice and fresh. Now, I don't care what you say, that is a mountain of beans. You could just basically have beans on toast with that amount of beans. Lots of nice sauce in there, tomato sauce. Hmm. They're really good. Really nice flavour. Yeah, really like them beans. Right. Well, I'm going to tuck in here, have a bit of brown toast to keep me healthy, and I'll see you guys shortly. Let's get the old sauce on there, brown sauce. One of the things I really like here is the range you have. You've got strawberry jam, marmalade, honey, blackcurrant jam, the dreaded marmite, love marmite, butter, everything else. So you can have that with, with your toast, not just with your breakfast, you can have that separate with your toast. I think that's a really, really good touch. Really good. So well done. I'm going to plough on here. I am full up.
Okay, we've come outside to do the review. I'm not convinced that's a really good idea. There seems to be a plane flying over every minute, 30 seconds or whatever. Um, On to the pub. Wow. pub itself is incredibly nice. Really nice seating area outside, inside, really traditional as well. Nice uh, fireplace to the left hand side with the seating area. The area I was in also had an open fireplace and at the back had a really nice uh, restaurant area. Very traditional pub, beams, everything in there. Really nice pub. Our server today was a lady called Sherry. Uh, thank you very much for the service, Sherry. The service was really, really good. As I said, another plane flying over. Onto the meal itself. The poached eggs, four of them, all of them were cooked exceptionally well. So really well done to the chef there. Them four eggs were cooked perfectly. There was a mountain, a mountain of streaky bacon there. And it, some of it was nice and crisp. It, it was really tasty. It had a real nice smoky taste to it. Uh, the hash browns. Now I think they could have been cooked a little bit more. So there was a couple of hash browns. They could have been cooked a little bit more. Uh, the sausages, they weren't top quality sausages. <laughs> These are brilliant. They weren't top quality sausages, but they had a nice taste to them. Um, pork sausages, they were pretty good. I love fresh tomatoes, and them two fresh tomatoes, nice and juicy, had a nice flavour to them, they were excellent. Beans, I've never seen so many beans, that was one big pot of beans. Nice flavour to the beans, you can taste the tomato in there. Loads there, I really enjoyed the beans as well. Uh, the toast, it wasn't um, your normal just uh, bog standard uh, bread. It was nicely cut uh, and the toast tasted absolutely superb. So for my mega ostrich breakfast, it came to £20. What I do like, there's absolutely no service charge there and the service was very, very good. Now you've got to bear in mind that was double the English breakfast there. Uh, four poached eggs, a mountain of uh, bacon. Uh, that was one huge breakfast. And you've got to remember there was no mushrooms on there and there was no black pudding as well. If you put them on there, oh my good God. Uh, saying that, I think they replaced the um, mushrooms and the black pudding with extra uh, bacon and a couple of poached eggs as well. What marks am I going to give it? I'm going to give it a very, very good 8 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed most of that breakfast. The criticism would be the hash browns and the criticism would have been, I, I would have liked if they said, uh, Gary, what can we replace your mushrooms with and what can we replace the black pudding with? However, I think they've already done it with the, as I said, with the bacon and the poached eggs. If you're in, ever in near Colnebrook, and trust me, loads of people are because they're on the, these planes flying over every couple of minutes, you have got to get down to this ostrich inn. Uh, they've got lots of leading rooms here. Loads of the rooms are haunted, so if that's your bag, then I definitely would stay here. If you could like and subscribe to our channel, I really, really appreciate that. Love to hear your comments as always. Really like to hear what you thought about the breakfast. Until next time, cheers. Bye-bye.